I have, I have identified four uh, streams from where CFOs draw their uh, competence or draw their credibility and reputation. And it's not that it has to be any one out of these four, it can be all four also. But typically people are good in one of these four buckets and that is how they, they owe their position in the company. So the first one in that is, uh, uh, how is how is the CFO in being a business partner? Uh, how does the CFO help the business improve its profitability, improve its return on capital, um, eliminate wastage, uh, continuously manage revenue increase, etc. How does how is the performance of the business managed by the CFO? How is target setting done, how are targets tracked, etc. So there is a huge business partnership, business support uh, capability which CFOs should have. The second uh, element I would say is uh, expertise in specific domains. Uh, accounting used to be one, it is less of it so, but with, with a plethora of accounting standards and uh, uh, names which all of, all of the CEOs would have uh, heard like INDAS or IFRS or now the new regulations which will come through the NFRA, etc. So the accounting has become a science. It needs a domain expertise. Treasury management is a science. Uh, foreign exchange management is a science. Taxation is a big uh, domain which requires uh, specific expertise. Even to some extent, uh, some functions like uh, uh, data mining or internal audit, etc. They need domain expertise. So, some CFOs have a very strong capability in these uh, domains, and they owe their their reputation to this particular vertical. So, business support, uh, domain expertise is the second one. The third uh, vertical would be the entire external interfacing part of the CFO role. Now, as you know, the the CFO ends up handling a lot of external interfaces, starting with the regulatory authorities. Many companies and if I see uh, SMEs around, uh, I don't think uh, the, the corporate affair or the government connect, government connect job, you have a separate person necessarily. The CEO and the CFO together do that role. So external connection with the regulatory authorities, with banks, financial institutions who lend you money. Uh, even if you are unlisted, you will have some investors, so managing those the investor interface. If you have a private equity investor, the CFO becomes a very strong bridge between the, the CEO or the promoter and the investor. If you are a listed company, the entire investor relations function. Uh, if you uh, have uh, evolved into developing of your own corporate brand other than your product and services brand, then many CFOs are also able to handle the corporate brand and make sure that your visibility as a company is also strong. So there is a lot of external interfacing involved in this. There is one very strong constituency which CFOs manage and that constituency uh, sits outside the company although it keeps visiting the company from time to time and that is the board of directors. So managing the board, uh, it's not only the, the administrative task of uh, handling board meetings whenever they are uh, held. It's also the entire task of uh, making sure that the company draws the best value from the board. So there is a lot of external capability needed in the CFO. So these three capabilities I spoke about, business partnership, domain expertise, and uh, external interfacing. And you will find that the CFOs draw their, their capability and competence from here. Apart from these four, looking at the context of this group and uh, the fact that uh, the people around the table today are uh, uh, first generation or second generation entrepreneurs, promoters. I would add a fourth uh, capability stream, which is uh, managing the promoter uh, himself or herself. And usually the promoter is not a single uh, uh, individual. Usually the shareholding is not held by one single individual. The shareholding from the promoter side is held by the family or friends, etc. So there is a promoter group typically at play. And uh, good CFOs end up developing this capability of managing the promoters also. So we, we have seen four streams of capabilities. The CFOs draw their uh, uh, strength from these four capabilities.